Hey guys, what's going on? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog and I've been meaning to put together this video for a while now because there is an app that I've been using for a couple years that has been just immensely helpful to me. It has saved me just unbelievable amounts of time and mental energy and I wanted to let you know about it because if you're somebody who spends time at a computer at all on a regular basis, it can probably help you too. The app is called Text Expander and it's a pretty cool idea and now that it's out on the market, I'm kind of surprised that like everybody isn't using this because as you'll see in a minute when I show you how it works, it's a game changing tool that can really save you tons of time if you just put the time into using it the right way. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how it works and just give you a quick overview and you'll see what I mean. I just wanna to explain to you what Text Expander is and why it's been such a big deal to me and why I think it might be able to help you too. Something I find myself doing all the time, almost unknowingly, is there are certain like phrases or sentences or strings of text, sometimes even like full-blown emails that I write over and over and over again. Like it's the exact same thing. I'm just typing it out repeatedly for different people. You know, a lot of people will ask me the same question and I really just need to send them all the same response. And what Text Expander does is it allows you to put together these canned phrases or really whatever you want to send back to people. So I'm just gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna open up this Word document and I wanna show you just a few examples of some of these snippets I've put together. And snippets are what this program refers to as whenever you put together some kind of a pre-written sentence or code or website URL or, or anything that you repeatedly type out. So for example, the URL to my blog, retipster.com. Now that's not really the best example because it's not long or difficult to type that out. But what I've done here is I've told Text Expander, anytime you recognize me typing in the abbreviation URL, boom, it's going to automatically populate that pre-written URL that I put in there. And as you can see over here in the text expander window, this is where it lists out all of my snippets that I've put together. So for example, if we go down here, this is like a random string of code that I put in my blog a lot whenever I embed videos. And as you can see here, the abbreviation is this. So I don't have to remember this whole confusing string of code. I can just go right back over here and type in that little abbreviation. So do this little arrow, D-I-V, and then boom, it pops up that entire string of code. Some other examples of things that I have to type out a lot. This one's really, really cool. I absolutely love this feature. Whenever I'm sending out offers on properties via email, say I've gotten a really quick look at a property, I know how much they want for it, and it's just up to me to send them a number. All I have to do is use the abbreviation that I put together, which is X offer. And then it actually allows me to fill in certain blanks that I've designated. So say if I know the person's name is Jim, I can just type that out. And I know that I wanna offer them 2000 bucks. Just like that, and then I click OK. And then boom, it populates that entire message. And that took me like, you know, four or five seconds. It doesn't take a long time to do that. If I had to type this whole thing out and like remember how to word it perfectly, I mean, it could take me a few minutes to do that. And one of the beautiful things about Text Expander is that you can really take your time to put together a message that doesn't have any typos, it explains everything very clearly, so that whenever you wanna pull up this message, it's worded perfectly, exactly the way you want it to be. And this is a lot better than having to rethink through this exact same message over and over again and forgetting certain things or maybe not saying it correctly or accidentally putting typos in there. With Text Expander, you literally just type in your abbreviation, whatever that is, and it will pop up that message or that sentence or whatever it is you want it to be. Some other common examples of things that you could create snippets for would be like email signatures or maybe if you have like like a work address or a home address that you don't want to type out you just would rather hit a few characters and then boom it populates and those are all perfect examples of things you could use text expander for and text expander actually comes with some sample snippets as well so say for example you wanted to use this template and just put your information in there i mean that could be your actual signature that appears and the nice thing is if you want you can format the text to 
to be whatever font you want, whatever size you want. It could be bold or italic or anything like that. They've also got some examples here of fill in the blank versions of these pre-populated messages. So let's go ahead and check this one out and see what that says, DNTHX. And here's another great example. Say if this was the kind of message that you needed or say even if you wanted to just edit this a little bit to fit your specific situation, it's the same kind of thing where you could you know, type in a person's name, put in the information. You could even use a drop-down selection tool if you wanted to and then click OK and then boom, there it is. It's just really, really easy to use. This is also really great if you work on a team and say if you've got like eight or 10 people in the office and you want them to all word the responses just so when they reply. And rather than leaving it up to each individual person to use their own wording, whatever that might be, they can all use this exact same list of snippets. So it's all kind of like pre-programmed in there for them and they don't have to screw it up and use the wrong words or say it in a way that's not as effective as you would like them to say it. So if you've got employees or if you're outsourcing work to anybody, say if you've got a virtual assistant or anybody who's helping you out and you want them to word responses just right, depending on what the question or email is in the first place, this is a great way to do that too. And lastly, something else I should mention is that Text Expander is actually cloud-based now. So if you go ahead and sign up for, I think it's a subscription model now, you can actually take this app and spread it out over multiple computers and even your smartphone if you want to. I've actually got Text Expander on my desktop computer on my laptop computer in my iPhone and they're all pulling from this exact same list of snippets so I don't have to like take all this information and then put it in all over again on a new machine it just automatically syncs on whatever computers are tied into that same account at the time of this recording the most current version of text expander is this uh, monthly or annual subscription version this one I believe is the one I have but there is also some earlier versions of text expander which is just a standalone app that you can download on one machine and the only real benefit of this is that you don't have to pay an ongoing subscription you could literally just pay I think it's $44.95 and this only works on Mac computers by the way so if you've got a Mac and if you want to just pay a one-time price for this this is also available I'm gonna include a link to this version and then also uh, the current version which if you've got a Windows computer I think this is the only one you have access to. But I think either one can work. And again, I'm using this subscription-based version now just because it allows me to sync up my snippets between all my computers. And it's just kind of an easier system to use that way. So that's kind of the way I prefer it. So it's really, really a nice service that's kind of a simple idea, but man, I don't know why somebody didn't think of this before or even why it's not a more common tool that everybody's using because I think we've all got things that we type in over and over again and we've probably wasted hours of our lives saying the same thing that would have been very easy to just type in a simple abbreviation like this and have it all done for you and a couple things I'll note here I can't say when I did get started with this it took me a little bit of time to come up with the things that I needed snippets for like for so long I had just become accustomed to typing out everything and not having these nice little abbreviations so I almost wasn't even aware of the things that I needed this for and it took me a little bit of time and just general awareness to think of what those things were. When I first got it, it probably took me, I don't know, maybe a half hour to just think of all the initial things that belonged in here. And I think Text Expander also has like a suggestion tool where it can kind of monitor what types of things you type over and over again. And it kind of keeps track of, hey, you know, why don't you create a snippet for this? Because I sense that you're typing this in over and over again. So that's kind of a cool little feature too. It's definitely one of those tools where the usefulness of it is a multiple of how much you put it to work for you. Because it can make a major major difference and save you a ton of time especially if you have a job or any kind of an ongoing workload where you're just typing in repetitive things all day this could be a huge deal for you so I just wanted to run this by you. it's been a very impactful tool in my business and in my life I use it all the time and I wish somebody had told me about it a long time ago I do have an affiliate link to text expander beneath this video I do get a small commission from that if you buy it through that link if you do buy it through that thank you very much I appreciate it if not, that's totally cool too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to run that past you. Hopefully this can serve some useful purpose in your life. I know it certainly has for me. Thanks for watching. Hope your day is going great and I will talk to you later.